white, white, wipe it down, white, 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 white. What's good, Prima Donna's back again today with another video. And in today's video, I am super excited because today I'm going to be reviewing and showcasing for you guys the new brand from Patrick Star One Size. I did pick up the palette as well as the eyeliner so that way I can show you guys this eye look today. And I also did pick up the makeup wipes and the Go Off dissolving makeup mist so stay tuned to the end so that way you guys can actually see me take all the makeup off and give you guys like a full review on the one size brand so i just want to say really quickly i am so proud of patrick star and his new brand just seeing his brand at sephora honestly was just mind-blowing um like i said i support beauty influencers so in today's look i decided to give you guys this olive halo eye i wanted to give you guys something different and i don't think i ever done kind of like an olive eye shadow look so this is what the palette looks like it's very pretty and it's actually pretty big i love the geometric shape on it as well and you guys when you open up this palette this is what she's giving um you guys will see my thoughts and everything in the video because i was a little iffy about it at first not gonna lie but i'm so happy that i did get to play with it and actually pick it up for you guys so shout out to the prima donnas for actually requesting this look on instagram really quickly before you go definitely hit that subscribe button that Way you do not miss out on any of my videos we are now uploading twice a week every wednesday and every sunday thank you all for watching and until next time guys bye so first being first of course i did pick up the palette so this is what the packaging looks like really like red and pink so yeah i just love the whole name of his brand you guys the one size like one size fits all that is just so genius so mind-blowing like i love that so much but anyways back to the palette so this is what the palette is giving very cute and i really really like the packaging but yeah we're about to jump into the palette in a minute not gonna show you the inside yet but as far as all the like cosmetic stuff the only other thing beside the palette that i did decide to pick up was the point made 20 for our liquid eyeliner pen no she ate already put that back i know I, I covered it i covered it already look it's right there it's covered where's the dog she's over here hungry oh. and i gave her so give her that one so this is what the eyeliner unicorn looks like everything is like in this baby pink color which is so cute and you know that i had to pick up the eyeliner because patrick star always be doing some bomb ass wings so i'm hoping that he gave us a really popping ass eyeliner you feel me and also he used to work at max so i'm pretty sure he knows his eyeshadows and things like that so i'm really interested in seeing what his formula is packaging is so popping on everything so yeah first things first of course we're going to be getting into the eyeshadow so let's zoom in okay so the red packaging is the unicarton and the actual palette is actually like a metallic baby pink super cute and it does have red on the front and the really cool thing about this palette not sure if you guys can see like the geometric type of shape to the palette is actually really really unique so this is actually how the eyeshadow palette opens up and look at how pretty is the palette it has a lot of neutrals i definitely see a lot of metallics there also is a really nice pop of blue in here that's actually pretty random and of course i do see a matte black of course y'all know me i have to keep it 100 percent honest with y'all i mean it wouldn't be me if i wouldn't um i'm not gonna lie when i seen the picture of it i really honestly was like mm. I'm, I think I'm gonna pass on it. It didn't really seem anything eye-catching. Um, like I said, I am a supporter, of course, of influencers, so I was gonna get it anyway. And of course, this is my job to review things, whether I like it or not, because obviously I do it for content and I do it for you guys. So there's probably things that I may like that you don't like and vice versa. There's probably things that you guys wanna see that I probably wasn't interested in. Yeah, I have a kajillion, you know, neutral eyeshadow palettes that I love. But like I said, you probably don't or you probably just want to know what is the tea on this palette so i actually did do like a little questionnaire on instagram and i asked you guys if you wanted to see a review using the one size brand and i got a 
I actually got a lot of requests and a lot of you were like, yes, the pa the palette is popping. We want to see it. So I was like, okay. So I went into Sephora. Obviously, I went to go pick up the palette so that way I can give you guys this video. And I'm not going to lie, when I seen the palette in person, definitely my mind did change, like I said. So sometimes you can't just judge a palette or a product just off of a picture or online sometimes things may gag you in person so i always recommend shopping in store so if you guys can actually go to any of your local stores and see the palettes i would definitely recommend to go see it and i'm not gonna lie when i seen the palette and i seen the packaging i was like okay yes definitely i need that <laughs> that blue honestly is so stunning but i honestly right now feel like i'm not in the mood for a royal blue eyeshadow look so i think i'm actually gonna do like an olive moments i've actually never did like an olive green eyeshadow look so i'm actually super excited for this so i'm gonna do one eye off camera and actually put my phone on the charger really quickly and yeah i'm gonna come right back and show you guys exactly what i did and how to do the other eye so yeah i'll be right okay back. you guys i'm back so this is what i came up with i decided to do kind of like a olive moment but i gave you guys a halo eye you know, I want to give you guys something different. Okay, so first things first, of course, going in with the P. Louise um, eyeshadow base. And this one is in the shade Rumor 2. Um, if you guys are using concealer, definitely use your concealer. But definitely prime your eyelids. So that way you guys can have a nice blank canvas. First shade I'm going to go into, which is my favorite shade out of this whole entire look like this shade is just so yummy uh, the undertone on it is just so good um so it's the shade suede charm which is this baby right here oh my god this nude is just so pretty um one thing i will say about the eyeshadows when i did do this eye girl they're so pigmented like oh my god they were so good i can't even knock it like you know what i'm saying like like you guys can just see how easy that just went on oh my god it is just so good so yeah i am using a morphe jeffree star this is their js12 brush it's kind of like a tiny little dome brush and i'm using that to kind of just really get into this socket right here because this is where i want the most depth to be right here and on the outer corners so that's kind of like a halo eye you want the depth to be you know on the outsides and then brightness in the middle and i'm gonna pack this shade onto my outer corner as well it's funny because when i edit my videos i see how freaking retarded i sound when i try to pronounce certain shit and i know it's outer but i say outer outer like an otter like the animal but it's outer corner i don't know but anyway i just be cracking up laughing when i'm editing i'm like girl what thank you thank you mama love you wanna eat them now why because you want one of course you do me and autumn snack lately has been these fried pork skins if you guys are spanish these are chicharrones and girl autumn is hooked i'm like a poor little baby teeth yay mommy you're so the best <laughs> goodbye these are great hmm? these are really great yeah, because the other one was spicy, right? Mm-hmm, a little bit. So now I'm going to go into this sh beautiful shade right here, which is called Mango. And girl, this is so pretty in your transition. It's actually a nice warm brown, but it has like a yellowy undertone. So cute. So I actually used this. I was going to put it on this eye. But yeah, I actually used this to just help us blend out that first shade that we laid down. So yeah, now we're going into that beautiful matte green. And I love that it has like a little imprint, little emoji face into it. And this is the shade Matcha. So yeah, so now I'm taking, this is the Morphe M507 brush, which is a tiny little like fluffy pointer brush. And I'm going to use this. You can like literally hear Autumn crunching at the door because she's just like still spying on me. Girl, What? packing this color on but the good thing like i said about all the brushes that i'm using is that they're all still kind of fluffy so they're like blending and packing at the same time so yeah as you guys can see just how beautiful this olive green is it's not patchy it's not like being weird <laughs> like if you get me you guys know a lot of like these deeper eyeshadows sometimes be a little bit off 
so yes as you guys can see that just went on so beautiful so we're gonna go into the shade all of it which is so cute all of it i love it which i love so yeah i'm gonna pick this shade up on a mac 242 brush this is one of my favorite like eye lid brushes it's just so flat and it just packs on shimmer so good so i'm also going to spray my brush a bit so i don't get a lot of fallout and we can get the full intensity of this shadow so i love lately been spraying my shimmers with the l'oreal um this is their shaking glow lumi spray and i just spray it like two times and now we're going to just pack this right onto the center now look at how gorgeous this olive is you guys like i am obsessed now the last shade that i jumped into Man I can why can't i pronounce that manila sands which is a gorgeous kind of like light nude to our brow bone on our inner corner now if you never did a halo eye before having that darkness in your inner corner is definitely gonna throw you off so still highlighting your inner corner just to bring back some light into the inner corner right here is definitely gonna help so like i said even though we're doing a halo eye bitch we're still doing a bomb ass in our corner okay so the eyeshadow is done and i'm so excited because i am obsessed like patrick star girl you did that like oh my god this palette is so good i actually did meet patrick star um i actually met him twice but the first time that i actually met him we actually um he spilled his drink on me which was a funny little story and yeah i actually got to party with him we were at a ipsy beauty cocktail party yeah basically content creators get a special invite from ipsy the day before generation beauty so i actually got to meet him there and like i said he was so nice and we got to turn up it was so cool and yeah ever since then i've been obsessed with him but yeah I'm so happy. Oh my God, he really fucking did that. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna go into the eyeliner. Liner is actually red. I was not expecting that. And it really looks like a pen. This is crazy. Like this little grip right here, if you have a pen that has that, that's crazy. And show you guys, of course, what the felt tip looks like. It is really, really pointy. Wow. So let me show you guys a swatch what that is black whoa whoa bitch that went on like butter all right i kind of want to do a wing now bitch this liner is really good I'm sorry I'm so quiet you guys it's just I'm concentrating so now I am done with the eyes I am now just gonna really quickly pop on my lashes so for mascara I'm gonna be using the KKW Beauty mascara I've been obsessed with this lately I'm just gonna quickly coat my lashes and for lashes today I'm gonna be taking my faves these are the Lily lashes in the style so extra Miami and I want to open the box so that way you guys can see up close just how pretty and like wispy and just gorgeous these yep. are yeah that was it that was it bitch that's what this look needed some liner and lashes honey Oof. these just really took it there so this is what the completed eyes look like with the liner the lashes the eyeshadow i love it you guys i'm so obsessed with this look this actually this green really really brings out my brown eyes so now i am gonna quickly just finish up the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back to show you guys the completed look all right you guys so this is the completed makeup look i just went ahead and just smoked out my lower lash line and then to finish up the eyes i also did throw a little bit of liner this one is from rimmel and this is the scandu eyes eyeliner in the shade nude and that's that nude color that i have in my waterline that is like really making my my eyes pop so really quickly i just want to tell you guys my kind of like final thoughts before we jump in and wipe everything off as far as the eyeshadow palette like i said the eyeshadows were super buttery super pigmented um i really don't have a lot of olive shades in my collection so i'm actually really happy that i got to pick this up and i definitely have to jump back into this palette and play with that royal blue but i am so obsessed with today's eye look so i definitely say get your hands on the palette especially if you support influencers 
and their journey so yeah as far as the eyeliner don't get me wrong it was really really good as you guys can see swatches it is matte it is black it is very easy to work with but do i think that it is something that you need like oh my god you need this no not really i feel like there's a lot of drugstore eyeliners that are just as amazing um but like i said if you're a sucker for packaging, I don't have any red felt tip liners. Like I said, and if you just wanted to add it to your collection, you will not be disappointed. So I want to make that clear. It's not a bad liner, like I said. Okay, so this eyeliner was about $20. So like I said, would I repurchase this for $20? No, I honestly wouldn't. But nonetheless, it is a really, really good liner. Yeah, that was my thoughts on the makeup. Comment down below your thoughts on this olive halo eye. Girl, I'm living with my snatched pony. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, you guys. So I'm just going to go about my day. I'm going to go get some food. I'm going to go take autumn outside and enjoy my day. And I'm going to come back tonight and I'm going to show you guys how we go off. Right, right? That's what it's called. Go off right is it go off yes so look i'm fucking up okay and i'm gonna show you guys how i go off and take off my makeup with the go off mist and the wipes okay so yeah i'll see you guys tonight and yeah seven hours later i know there's not one but two flies dead just macking on my laptop all right you guys what time is it? It's about like almost 9.30 at night. So what I had this makeup on for what, seven, eight hours. I started doing my makeup around 1.32. So yeah, I'm so ready to take off the day. I just took all of my shower. So you know the humidity of being in the bathroom? Like I'm ready for me to shower if you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm still so obsessed with this eyeshadow. So yeah, it is nighttime clearly. So that's why the lighting is going to be different in this part. So yes, understand that the first part was filmed in the daytime. And now we are in the nighttime. So first things first, of course, I am going to take off my lashes. Because I do not want my lashes to get fucked up. So the way I'm going to do this pretty much... I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. So pretty much, I think I'm just gonna spray like my whole entire face. Right? I don't know. This is what the Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist looks like. Um, I Like I said before, I recommend you buy everything in store, especially if you are gonna get this, being that it is in an aerosol can, they are gonna make it ground shipping, so if you're trying to get this right away, just wanted to let you guys know that it won't be like priority shipping or anything like that. And then, yeah, these are what the makeup wipes look like. So this is the original size, but they also do have a mini size. Mad Savage. These are like mad hard to take out, especially if you have nails. I feel like I can't grab it. Okay, wait, I got it. I'm gonna take off one side of my face just with the makeup wipe, and then on the other side of my face, I'm gonna go in with the mist and then see what that gives. Yo, this is it folded, you guys, but I wanted to show you how huge this makeup wipe is. Like, literally, I could fit like three of my face. <laughs> I could fit like three of my faces in here. Like, look at how long it is. It doesn't even fit in my frame, but... So I literally took off mostly all of my foundation, you guys, and I still have so much of the wipe plus the other complete side. So this is crazy because usually with any other makeup wipes, I use about two or three. The real test, of course, now, of course, is the eyeshadow and my brows because I also do use like gel and everything in my brows. So girl, let's see how this is going to take it off. Okay, so the majority of my makeup is removed. This looks crazy, you guys. Don't mind my swatches from earlier. Oh my God, if you guys ever wanted to see a power of makeup, 
Here you go, sis. This looks crazy. You guys can actually really see how much I overline my lips. <laughs> Oh well. Oh my god, look at the difference with my brows. I've never like compared side by side like or seen side by side my makeup versus with no makeup. So this is crazy. Guys, look at how much of the makeup wipe I literally still have. So now I'm gonna go in with the makeup dissolving mist and you're supposed to just shake this up and hold it basically like a few inches away from your face. You just wanna go ahead and spray. Now, wish me luck because I freaking have contacts on, so I hope I don't get this shit in my eye. I just wanna see like, how easier this breaks down the makeup, or should I like massage it with my hand first and then take it off? Yeah, I think I'm gonna massage it with my hand so that way you guys can really, really see. Let's get up close, you know? Let's like, cause you guys are into this nasty shit. Cause I am. Okay, there we go. It literally feels like nothing. Like when you spray it on your face, it's super lightweight. Like you don't feel anything, but you can definitely feel like a oily kind of residue when it hits your face and even massaging it in. Ooh, okay, wait, I thought I need more. Right, even like massaging it in, yeah, you can definitely feel that it has like some oils in it. <laughs> Do I have the clean side? Okay. Wow, that took off everything. Wow. Yeah, you guys, so that was pretty much it with the makeup wipes and the mist. As you guys can see, it literally took off everything. I'm so excited. I'm not going to lie. I kind of already see a little breakout, but that can just be from the foundation because the foundation I wore earlier, I haven't worn it in a minute. So I'm not necessarily going to say that this broke me out, but as you guys can see, there definitely is like a shiny residue that's left on my face and I can even feel that like my face, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see even in my hand. It definitely has like a greasy type of like oily feel to it, which I do not mind because usually makeup removers can tend to really dry out your skin. I feel like this actually left my skin really, really hydrated. But like I said, you still need to wash this off. So this is great for in the meantime, if you're just needing a quick makeup, you know, a quick makeup takeoff, you know what I'm saying? But definitely still go in with your cleanser and everything else and really take this off and get everything off. The makeup is now off. And I must say, Patrick Star literally went off with this whole entire brand. I'm so happy with everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys think of any of these makeup products. Have you tried anything in the One Size brand? Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And until next time, bye. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so ready to go to sleep. Oh, but the skin is looking nice though. Okay.